Hello and welcome back to another How To Django. My name's Tom with uh, Master Code Online and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our videos. In today's tutorial we're going to start working our way up to learning some cool things in Django. But the first thing we need to do is be able to display something to the browser. Uh, and that would be a great starting point in our uh, tutorial series here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the simplest, quickest way to display a page in Django. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and we're going to call it views.py. And we use views.py to uh, handle the request and response <laughs> of our um, application. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and say from Django, what in the hell? Sorry about that. Um, my uh, PyCharm was not responding. So, we're going to say from Django dot shortcuts import render. And what render does is it takes, um, basically takes a request from the user or the browser to the server and it render will take that request and render something so it's going to send back a response so our response is going to be our view and let's call our view home and it's going to take one argument so we're creating a function that takes one argument and that's going to be a request all right so this is the user's request when they visit the web page the the uh, argument is going to be a request the request now um the simplest way to do this is we're going to create a template and we're going to say uh, home.html. All right. And then we need a uh, context. So I'm just going to say context. And the context is what context are we sending back to the page? Uh, for right now, it's going to be an empty dictionary. And what we're going to say, the uh, next thing we're going to do is return. And here comes render. Render request. Uh, our comma uh, template and context just like that all right so that is basically the easiest way to display a um, page but we still need a way for the request to get to this view function right here so how do we do that well we use urls.py so let's go ahead and open up the urls.py um, in the same folder it's in the example all right um and then down here we're going to go ahead and say from dot views all right so this is how we connect our views.py file to our urls.py file we're going to import home okay and then in here inside your url patterns um list here we're going to go ahead and add in our um our URL. So this basically routes what the URL does is it routes the request from the user or the browser that's sent to the server. Uh, it's going to route it to the view. So it's going to come in and whatever, however we set up the URL here, and it's going to come in and find our our view that we imported here and go and find views.py and it will return whatever we tell it to return. So we're going to do uh, URL. And then we're going to say uh, R for raw string. And then the caret, and what the caret indicates is, hey, um, take whatever our, our uh, starting URL is. So in our case, it looks like this right now on a development server or on your development computer. It looks like this. So if we replace the caret, it's going to look like that. All right. But we don't want to have to write this out every time. And it wouldn't be very dynamic if we're developing here or using um, this. And when our website is something like mastercode.online, right? So a way to combat that is use the caret, all right? And then we're just going to call uh, the dollar sign. Basically, that says, hey, the caret's the starting point. The dollar sign is the ending point, OK? So. With that being said, our URL is going to look like this, right? Because this is our home page, so we want it to we want people to when they visit our main URL, we want to be able to see our page. All right, so we're going to add a comma, and next comes our um, our view. So home, our view is named home. We defined a function named home. All right, 
And then the next one is going to be the name. And what the name is used for is identifying this URL configuration right here. So we use the name as home. All right. So there you go. We have handled setting up the URLs. So when a user comes in and visits, well, it's hard to say with a carrot and a dollar sign, you know, if you guys are new and you haven't worked with it before, and I didn't want to do that. Um, so when a user comes in and visits this, all right, we want them to go, all right, so we identify it here. Okay, they visit this URL. So this matches. So now let's go find a home view. All right. So we'll go to the home view and I'm just going to take this out before we go over there because I'll forget about it. And we'll go up here and we have the home view. And what are we going to do? We're going to display the template home.html and we're going to display context, which we don't have any context at the moment. We'll look at that shortly and then we'll return render request template context. All right, cool. That's awesome. We got all that set up now. Um, if we go and run our server, which mine is not running, so if I do uh, python manage.py run server, I'll bring over my browser here and run this. I'll make sure it's running. It's not running yet. There we go. Uh, we're going to get an error. And it says template does not exist at home.html. So, okay, now we got an error. And as you can see, when you're working through Django, if you're new, there's a lot of uh, great debugging um, help that Django gives you. Like this one is very simple. It says template does not exist at HTML uh, home.html. Awesome. I know what the problem is. I'm going to go fix it. Sometimes it gives you uh, problems that you don't even know what the heck they mean. And that's when you got to uh, start reading up on Django and looking through your code. And that's where you start to learn. So, all right. Now we know we don't have a template. Let's go create a template. So I'm going to right click on my templates. And create a new file. And we're going to call it home.html. And in home.html, we are for now going to create a HTML template, HTML document. Uh, so doc type. I did that backwards. It's getting late. Doc type. I was like, why doesn't it look right? HTML and this should be lowercase HTML. There we go. All right. So you guys are write a lot of HTML are probably laughing at me right now. Um, but I do not write much HTML. I am not a designer. All right. So there we go. And we're just going to, we'll put a head in here for the hell of it. So head and inside there we'll do title. And we'll do uh, example. I don't know. We'll call it uh, how to Django. Or Django. No, I spelled it right. Um, and then down here, we'll just do body. And we'll put in h1 tags and say hello world. All right. <clears throat> now we'll go back to our page and refresh. Hello world. There we go. And that's our first HTML uh, display, or I should not HTML. First display of a template in Django. So, all right. That's all cool and stuff, but you're probably saying, hey, Tom, I could do that and just, you know, straight HTML and be good to go. So let's go ahead and change that a little bit. Let's go to views. Let's. Um, Let's see here. Let's do um, bum, 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 bum. message and we'll say hello uh, world. I am learning Django like that. And in here we're going to have context and we're just going to say in a string message 
colon message like that. And then we're going to come right back into our home, our home.html and we're going to change this to um, curly braces. Two curly braces indicates a uh, variable or a context, if you will, in template in Django. So we'll call this message. Now go back and refresh your page. And refresh your page and refresh your page. I got a syntax error in my views.py and then that should that should be in the comma. Uh, a colon. Now we refresh our page. There we go. It's finally going. Hello world. I'm learning Django. So that is uh, our tutorial for today. Um, I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to keep moving forward here and uh, whatever pops into my head, we're going to learn about uh, something in Django. So uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. I'll see you in the next one.